All right, welcome back to the Man Cave. I'm your host. Got two videos for you today about a woman who is giving her children up to CPS because she can't handle them. Shocker, isn't it? And then you go online and talk about it. So it must be very important what she's going to tell these young ladies about childbearing and waiting to your carry. I'm sure she's going to give us some great information. So without further ado, let's uh, roll the video of the mother of the year. Okay, so it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not going to lie off. I'm over it. I do everything by my fucking self and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like these niggas don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents, no, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11 and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass niggas still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids and I'm going to worry about me focus on school and get my motherfucking shit together because why the fuck not? It's time for somebody else to fucking, you know, step the fuck up and do something. I'm tired. Like every fucking time, like I said every fucking time, I'm, I've been doing it by myself since I was 15. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm in two different colleges. I'm working. Um, I'm over. I'm overwhelmed. I was just. It's, I'm done. I really am. I'm just done. I just want to learn. I just want to be able to focus on me, my school, my careers, my jobs. I, I just want to focus on me. Don't worry, I absolutely love and adore my kids. They're so beautiful and intelligent. But I don't want them. The f, f. like seriously. I love them, but I just don't want them. Can you imagine what it would be like if a man said that? Can you imagine? She gets to just say, I love them, but I don't want them. Somehow, magically, that is going to be overlooked, and they're going to have lukewarm responses for how you are a deadbeat mom. You decide to have children. You made a decision to have children, unprotected-wise, and then you come up here and say many years later, ah, I don't want them because I can't live my bestie life. Shocker. I'm try I've been trying literally for two, two, three months to give them to the dads. Literally nothing. Then you got one of the fucking dads is like, oh. <laughs> Y'all, I kid you the fuck not. I told this man, you it's time for you to step up and do something, like, you know, step the fuck up. So then he's like, oh, it sounds like um I, like I literally told him, I said I'm just trying to better myself. I said my career is low key on the is low key on the rise and shit. This nigga gonna look and say my kids, so you can go and chase your dreams because your dreams is starting to come true. Why would I want to sit there and let your dreams come true? Like for one, that's the most hating ass shit a, a, a somebody could ever fucking say. Literally, anybody know who Kendrell Eaton is or he go by Kike? That's who I'm talking about. Y'all, this one, this one dumb bitch Akira on this live because be dad. If I knew that's who the fuck her baby dad was, bitch, I would have. Hello, I would not have been talking to him because, bitch, you're you're mad that he's my baby dad. Okay, you can have him back. I never wanted the nigga to be my baby dad. I just got fucking stuck and I couldn't abort the motherfucker. So to co help contact these goddamn dads so they can come and get these fucking kids because, like, L listen to how she's talking. I never wanted him to be the father of my kids anyway. So why did you get pregnant? What happened to birth control? Smartest people on the planet, most enrolled, most educated. What exactly happened where you forgot that there was such a thing called birth control? And I don't want to hear her age and I was a wild child, Maura. All right. I don't want to hear any of that. You didn't want that, but you ended up with a kid, which means you didn't take the preparations prior to making a child. You decided to have a child because you didn't do what was necessary. Oh, let me guess. You were allergic to taking birth control, right? Of course you were. You hate this guy so much. You didn't take. <sighs> this is just disgusting to me. And I guarantee you, we go through the, through the list of people talking. No one's going to call her out for this. Or it's going to be lukewarm or they're going to understand. Because this is why she's going online talking about this. Because they know there's a whole bunch of women just like her that look just like her. Miserable, made poor decisions and choices and all lack accountability. And they'll sit there and all blame the dude while he is wrong. 
you still wrong. He said, the only difference is a man is labeled wrong and is always wrong. He is tattooed with that. You figured out a way to get account accountability be gone spray off of your body every single time, costing you all your fortunes in food stamps just to, just to afford to keep spraying yourself daily because it keeps smearing on your body every single time. I said I'm done. So, you know, but if by 5 o'clock I cannot get the dads to man the fuck up and help, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to drop them off at the fire station. I've already contacted the fire station because I didn't know how the whole shit work or whatever. Because I know I know you could drop off like newborn babies and shit and not get in trouble. Or I don't know if you get in trouble or not. I don't even give a fuck if I do get in trouble. I don't care. I'm done. So anyway, I act on it because I'm I'm tired of doing it by my fucking self. Like literally. I got all the kids. Twenty literally twenty four the fuck seven. I got twenty four seven. I don't have nobody to be watching them. JFS keep fucking up my childcare. The dads don't fucking help. The, the, the grandmas is dead beats as fuck. And I can't wait to see this one bitch. I can hit these motherfuckers up and tell them to fucking be a dad or, or I don't know. If y'all want to take them, because look, y'all can get benefits and everything. Um, Honestly, actually better yet, shit, my daughters might qualify for SSI. But I'm not playing. I'm just like, I have to know you. I'm saying, Mind if you, you she's like driving you and doing foster this. my kids or some shit like that, I don't give a fuck. This is me openly asking for help. Are the kids in the car? I, I got a lot of shit going on right now. So, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, if you want to openly foster my ch my children or whatever the fuck, I have to know you. you. Yes, we have to go through the whole little process or whatever. But I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for my kids and everything. But, yeah, no, if you want, like I said, if you want to foster them, you're more than welcome. Y'all will get benefits. If you need, if you can file for food stamps, my daughter's Jeez. qualify for SSI. Um, it's a couple different things. My son's dad is dead as fuck. And he ain't coming back. In fact, I, st I still got to go today and spit on that nigga's grave and send the video to his mama. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, I got to, um, after I do that shit, but my son's dad is dead. He's not coming back. So my son's dad. All right. So I'm going to assume, I'm just going to throw it out there. You were going out with Pookies. He's dead. What was he? One A statistic where he got shot and it was a, it was, you know, justifiable. It was unjustifiable death. Come on. You were dating a Pookie. Y'all all fall for the same type of dude. And then you come online crying about it. Miss me with that noise. I mean, my son, survive, uh, he, he, you know, he qualifies for uh, survivor's benefits or whatever the fuck. What the fuck is he talking about? For, for what? child. Anything that I do with my life, my career, my business, whatever fucking rapper that you see me with, whatever rapper flies me the fuck out, that has nothing to do with you. The fuck? My boyfriend has nothing to do with you. It don't matter. None of that shit matters. What? You should worry about you and the fuck what you, what you have to do for your kids. And actually, to be honest, what? you're literally, you're literally that fucking stuck on a fucking rapper. We're just fucking, he's not even my boyfriend. Oh, so imagine geez. when he is, when he do become my boyfriend, you're going to be fucking sick. He's not my boyfriend. So now you just look dumb as fucking bitter as fuck, worried about the wrong ass shit. I'm not. All I can say is unbelievable. This, If this is not hood rat behavior, if this is not bottom of the barrel behavior, I don't know what is. I literally don't know what else is. It is insane that she can go on a rant like this. And I'm going to go through the comments section. You guys can look it up. I'll leave a link in the description box. It's insane. Y'all are so judgmental. I hate that. We are women who should come together. I don't blame her for giving them up. She literally losing her mind. Unstable people can just do this. And you have people that have sympathy for a 63 life. While some of these comments are outrageously clear that this is a cry for help. Men walk out with their kids all, all the time. And it's the norm. Shaking my head. Because you guys pick horrible men. I notice how they never, they never, they never mention Women that cause men to leave and make things so hostile that they have, they end up leaving. It's not judging. I'm not saying the men should do it. But lo let's not pretend that men don't leave because you women know how to nag a man out of a house. I work nice 12 hours just with two kids, sleep like two hours a day. My kids ain't going nowhere, period. Thank goodness. 3,000 likes. 
I'm from Columbus, and I actually do know that dad. Man, no surprise. You you guys getting pregnant by the same t- bottom ten percent of men. I'm glad she's getting help and not harming them. She is harming them. She's sending that she's leaving them at a, a firehouse to be believed in the foster care. Foster care. Come on. The trauma these kids are facing is sad. Yes, because his mom is triggered and completely unstable. Once you have kids, there's not any more focus on you. That goes out the door. Those babies come first always. Boom. Thank you. Praise be. She. The, this lady said it. We are two totally different moms because I would never. Exactly. I got four kids and this has never crossed my mind. When you have kids, it's no longer about you. It's about them. Why is it so difficult? Because we've made it and normalized it. We give women avenues to abort their children. We give women avenues, to choices to abandon them. And they're never considered bad deadbeat moms. It is insane that there are women out here. And I guarantee if I were to go inside, if I had the time to go into every one of those comments, there's going to be women who will find a way to turn against those women because they just don't agree with the narrative of women should be able to abort and get rid of their children whenever the heck they want, no matter what, without scrutiny, or repercussions. It's a load of crap. All right, let's get to the next video. It really don't matter, but um, because this is how you're overwhelmed. Because I love them, and this is hard. But you don't love them. This is this is killing me. It's not killing you. But it's for the better, like it's because you're it's for reckless. Me to make my life better and focus on my schooling, my career, my health. Number one, my health, so I don't fucking die. Because I can't do shit for them if I'm dead. You see what I'm talking about? Listen how she's talking about like this is her. It's about me. It's about my health. It's about everything that I need. I love them, but let me list all the things that are clearly about myself. My selfish needs. Not selfless. Selfish. My career. Your career should have came before the kids, idiot. I don't have help, you know? And I don't like these places because they make the women feel so comfortable. I can tell you a story about a woman who got upset. She was pregnant, nagged the boy for the the baby dad. I hate to know how to use the word. Nagged the boyfriend, the father of her child, was continuously nagging him all the time. He left. It's wrong for doing that, but he left. She decides to take Nyquil and try to commit suicide, and then regret doing it. Oh, why did I do this? Getting taken to the hospital. And from what I heard, they were so nice to her. Oh, you're, you know, I'm sorry you're going through this. You know, let me hold your hand. You know, we need to work things out. Mind you, she just tried to kill the unborn child inside of her uterus, her wound. And you're going to handle her with kid gloves. Everywhere in the world, we have to handle women with kid gloves to make them feel better for making stupid adult decisions. It's like that. And it's like the dads didn't want to help me. They wanted to see me beat. I done lost everything so many fucking times. But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to come back for them. And as far as the whole... I suppose... No. As far as the whole um, foster whole thing, like, will it be open? Will I still be able to, like, see them, well, bring them gifts yeah. and stuff? Like, Let them be with those set up visitation for you. That's, that's if the good parents don't let you see them because you don't deserve them. Okay, that's even better. I'm sorry, I, I spoke. Usually here at the agency or designation place, whatever the court order, and you'll be able to see them weekly. Okay, that's even better that I can still see them. Oh yeah, you'll get to see them, and I can still provide for them, right? Correct. You Birthdays, can bring gifts, and have all that. Give them money, not you gifts. Give them money, ho. Kid gloves. You know, provide for your kids. I can tell that you care for them. You're just completely overwhelmed. I get that. Yeah, because, like, it's only so much I can do. I mean, I just. You're worthless. You're not. There's only so much you can do, but you're doing the bare minimum. You're worthless. You're pathetic. I don't care about you. Oh, I, I still can give them birthday gifts. How about, you know, a life? If they get to a family that is going to take care of them, no matter what the race is, here's what I'm going to say. Be gone, thought. Do not get involved. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 food stamps. Stop. Leave this child alone. If you can't be with that child now, don't be with that child ever. 
leave him alone. This is ridiculous. And mind you, this is all for DNA, geek and attention. She is looking for so much attention. She's not doing this privately. She's not giving some speech about warning women about going after a specific type of men. That When these guys come a-knocking, look for these signs. Don't go towards them. She's looking for attention. That is why she's had the camera in her face while she's so distraught. She has the camera in front of her so that she can let the world see how bad she feels and how upset she feels about the whole thing. She's so upset she can't even keep put the phone down long enough to dry her crocodile tears while this social worker, I'm sorry, I can understand how this is, you know, really hard for you to just give up your children even though you had no problem opening your legs, not taking birth control, pushing them out of your womb, raising them all this time, and then looking for an avenue to escape. You know what? Why is it that we don't have a system that tells them, oh, you don't want to raise your kids, you go to jail? Because that's what happened when men can't pay their child support. And my question is, how come those men are on child support? Are they in jail? Guarantee you, they're pookies. And you didn't put them on child support. But if this was an average dude who was straight up and things didn't work out between you, you have the B-A-L-L-S to freaking put them on child support. I don't think, and well, the other one's dead, I'm pretty sure that he did something stupid. I'm sorry, I'm generalizing, but just looking at you and your horrible choices, you pick the same type of people that don't necessarily have a legitimate job. Those poor kids, if they do, if they survive foster care and they get a good family, you should stay as far away from them as possible. It's like that movie with um, Holly Berry where she was a crack addict and gave birth to that child. And then gave, gave him up to adoption, tried to come back. And then she fought hard to get the child back. And I'm like, she's already with a loving family. And they tried to play the race card and all this other stuff. I think it was Samuel Jackson was in it. And I'm like, no, leave him alone. This child has a better life. Leave them alone. Oh, I can give them birthday cards and presents. Like, he, baby, he needs his mother. And clearly, you don't know how to be a mother. But let's go to the comments section. She doesn't have a village. She needs a village. No, she needs some common sense. Is she serious? No matter what, you never give up your children. Thank goodness. I'm so proud of people. Praise be. Gotta be more to this. Y'all go on FB and search Amora Lex and go to her post. Linda, do you always, it's a video. I'm curious to see what that is. This breaks my heart. How could you ever give up your own kids? Exactly. I became a teen dad at 18. No one in my corner. My son and mom died when I was two and we were really on our own. Live paycheck to paycheck. Sometimes going days without eating. He So he'd always. That's what you're supposed to do. This is what I call mother. See what I'm talking See, And it's the same usual suspects. This is what I call a mother's love for real. It's so sad that the government would rather pay strangers to take care of other people's kids than give parents a tool to take care of themselves. It's called being an adult. You see what I'm talking about? It's called being an adult. You're an adult. You should already know how to do these things. Why does the state have to hold an adult's hand? So the state will pay for foster family to take care of them, but they can't help keep her kids at home. Again, she's an adult. You made an adult decision, you're an adult. They are not the people you want to go to. I didn't have a village, but I never give up on my love. My, I never give up on me. Love my kids. 100%, I will never do this. Yes, exactly. A lot of children are abused in foster care. This is sad. She had no other options. Hopefully, these kids are okay. It's called birth control. You should have thought about that before you open up your legs. She is so broken. Yes, call her out for this. Shame her. She needs to. This needs to go viral. Letting everyone who acts like this know you don't do this. And if you do, you get shamed for it. So it scares everyone else from being an idiot. We need to bring back shame. That's what we need to do. But what we do is we want to hold their, their hands and, and pamper them and give them a, the option of an out. No, you need to be held accountable. That is what you need to do. As a woman, be held accountable, own up to your job, own up to the, what you did, and go truck on. 
It's not about you anymore. It's about the children.